Today we're going to demonstrate gun defense. your head to kiss you. Hey, come on, come on. Hey, off. I will not struggle. From here, I will step back and put my arms between us. Then I will go down to get away and tuck him away. If he comes back, boom, I will do an educational stop. I am Marina Ferre and follow us for more self-defense tips. See that. I'm going to grab this weight. I'm going to try to drag him So I'm going to kind of sitting over his side, both hands on the mat, inside leg, Control his ankle, pull, you can step pulling his leg, you can break the leg. If it's too hard, you want to let go, go, heel, belly, punch, elbow. Okay? What to do if he grabs your hair and throws you to the ground? I will spin and take his arm. From here, strike the balls with my knee. Pull. Boom, Ooh. two times. And from here, bump Ooh. strike to the face, gun, and run. When someone grabs your hair, they can control your head. And from there, they can control your whole body. So it is important to lock the arm of the aggressor and then attack. Follow us for more self-defense tips. Kida. Ooh, straight up against the wall, stranglehold with all of my fingers wrapped around her neck. She needs to know how to get out of this. The first part of the technique is to tighten her neck by bringing the shoulders up, chin down. This makes less neck for me to choke, right? So this is a good start. The second thing is she's gonna take what we call a monkey grip, which means a thumbless grip, and she's gonna hook underneath one and over the other. This really secures my arm. If she uses her thumb here, it's a lot easier for me to go into the opening and escape. If she pulls it to her chest here, I'm not going anywhere. Now she breaks back and pulls. And what she's looking for is one individual finger. The idea is to hold that finger tightly and pull it down until the finger breaks. One more time. So here she holds tight with the monkey grip, reaches over the top, rakes whatever finger, and breaks. It doesn't matter if she gets the middle finger, pointer finger, pinky finger, they all hurt the same as far as I'm concerned. So this is a must-know technique. Last time. Here, boom. Holds it, pulls back, and finishes. All right, I have my plunge my hair. I've got my hands on his wrists. I'm walking as he's moving. I'm moving with him, securing my hair to my scalp. When I'm ready, same side arm, reaches over, turns his hand, apply some pressure, gets him down, 